Hey, my friends, this is Matthew J. Peters. I'm the CEO of Ascend Media, and tonight I'm going to be talking to you about creating your to-don't list. There's a lot of things we're doing in our business just to run our business, especially when we're starting out and it's one, maybe two people. You got to wear a lot of hats. You got to accomplish a lot of tasks. And I want you to really think about when you're doing the growth of your business, identifying what your magic is. Now, what is your magic? Your magic is the thing that people you hire you for. It's the thing that they value the most about what you do. It's that big result that you can help people have in their life, in their business, in their health, their relationships, their spirituality, whatever that is. The more you focus your time and leverage your time to be more in your magic and less in the other things, that's where you're gonna see not only you're, you're going to be more profitable with your time, you're going to be happier because you're doing what you love and what you're really good at. And it's just going to open up a lot of space for you. So let me get into it here. What do you get paid the most for? If I look at what I get paid the most for, it's coaching and consulting, video directing, sales calls, networking, and my company message. So right now I'm doing my company message because I don't want to hand this over to anybody else at this point. Probably... At some point soon, as I'll have multiple units, because we'll be recording multiple multiple uh, productions at the same time, I'll have another video director. But right now, I am the video director. I'm the person doing the sales calls because I can st- I still have the capacity to do that. Network is, networking is actually one of the most profitable activities that I do. I've made hundreds of thousands of dollars through networking. And you can too. The, there really wasn't any science behind it. I know some people are master networkers. I don't consider myself one. I just am myself asking people questions, be interesting and interested in other people. What else are you doing in your business to keep the doors open, the lights on, keeping your your business running? And what are you getting paid the least for? I want to show you some of the things that are a complete waste of time for you. Here's a little indicator. If you don't know this, if you have an iPhone and you go to settings and then you go into screen time, you'll have a a front front row view of what you're investing your time in on your phone. You'll be able to see all the apps you're in, how long you're there for each, and you can see the patterns. You can see, you know, over time what you're spending your time on. And are you spending your time there or are you investing your time? So... What are you doing to grow your business? Now, I know there's a lot of things people think they need to do to grow their business. Let me give you some of them that you're probably doing. Raise your hand or nod yourself if you see that you're doing these. I know it's really small, but let me just go through them so you can see it. Creating your landing pages, podcast producing, editing your website, live streaming, hiring people, follow through, uh, sales calls, meetings, answering emails, making videos, checking social media, posting on social media, creating graphics, editing videos, editing audios and images, writing emails, writing sales copy, creating webinars and networking. So there's a couple things in there that I'm actually good at and I get paid really well for, but there's some things that you're not good at, you don't enjoy doing it, and it's not profitable in your company, so why are you doing it? The thing, One of the things we first need to do is um, define the things that we need to do and the things that we don't. Sometimes we want to automate or make things simple that actually don't even need to be done at all in our business. So you need to identify the things that don't need to be done. And I'll go into a little bit of that in just a moment here. Here's some other things like personally, personal, personal responsibilities, grocery shopping, yard work, home repairs, travel planning, driving your kids from place to place, cleaning the house, bookkeeping, auto maintenance, making meals. So you think about all these different things you do during the day. Imagine... You didn't have all everything I just talked about here. You didn't have to do any of it. Your job was to deliver your magic. Everything else, your magic paid for everything else. You didn't have to do the grocery shopping. Let me see if I can go back here. You didn't have to create a landing page or edit any pages on your website. You want to do a, a podcast production like me. I'm just doing a live stream, letting it go live, and it's live. It's done right? Producing it. Now you're going to go through and edit it. You're going to make the graphics for, is that what you want to invest your time in? Because you, the value of your time is equal to the amount of money you could pay someone to replace you. So if you get paid 
$400 an hour for consulting, or if you're going to package it, let's say you charge $250 an hour if people buy 10 hours of your time. I'm just saying dollars per hour. Let's just say that and not just uh, dollars for the result. At some point, there's things you're doing in the day that are $8 jobs or $5 jobs or $10 jobs because of the things that you could be outsourcing to people who are good at it, enjoy it, and are up to date on those things and they get results with those things that they do and you're not so much. So I know this is super tiny, but I want to go through this because this is really interesting. Uh, a friend of mine, Sean Cano, who has a YouTube channel, actually has several YouTube channels, over 2 million uh, subscribers to his YouTube channels. Check out Think Media TV. He's uh, an expert on YouTube. He, on his website, so this is all public, he's looking for someone as a personal assistant. Now, let me just give you some of the, uh, the tasks here that for this personal assistant. Manage and maintain schedules for Sean. Create weekly agendas. Coordinate accordingly. Confirm appointments and location. Maintain all home inventory fully stocked and up to date, including office supplies. Correspond and communicate with telephone, speaking, email, written communication skills must be exceptional. Taking care of errands. Someone who does all of his errands for him. That's cool. Um, maintaining, managing the family calendar. Answering the phone calls received. Performing as a liaison between Sean and others. Planning and scheduling appointments and meetings, services, providers for Sean, spouse, child, and the dog. So the, the uh, meetings for the dog, too. <laughs> um, meal preparation and cooking. Planning events. Travel planning. Project support. Providing support in any capacity as necessary. And comfortable with performing tasks outside the job title. So imagine you find this person for you. What would that mean in your life? If you knew you didn't have to edit another video in your life, if you didn't have to do another live stream, if you didn't have to write uh, another email sales copy, you just hired one of the best. If you didn't have to record a series of videos, you just hired the best to do it and it's done in a day and you don't have to think about it again. You don't have to do another social media post. I tell there's times like, I don't wanna, I don't wanna go into Facebook, I don't wanna go into Instagram. I'm using that, I've got a company that we do that, so that's something that I'm involved in. But it doesn't mean I enjoy doing that every day. I have people that are better than me at that that I hire. So this is a little grid that I, I saw a, years ago, probably 10 years ago. Um, a marketer by the name of Frank Kern put this out. I know Frank Kern's huge. But um, this is something I'm sure he got from somebody else. But I want you to think about this. If you were to put, do a grid on a piece of paper and you say, here in the top, in the top uh, left, Here's the things I'm good at and I enjoy. You just put good and enjoy. And then list all the things that you're good at and enjoy. Think about your magic, the things that, that are um, in your wheelhouse. And then there's the things just to the right of that, the things that you're good at but you don't enjoy. And then down below on the, the uh, lower left, not good at but enjoy. And then to the right of that, not good at but don't enjoy. So what do you get rid of first? The things that you're not good at, you shouldn't be doing. Because even if you enjoy it, you're not good. And it's, it's actually the lowest part of your business or the things you're not good at, you're doing yourself. So not good at and don't enjoy, but they need to be done. If they don't need to be done, and you've identified they actually do need to be done, you need to hire somebody because you're not good at it. Don't you know spend another $2,000 on learning how to do something. Spend $1,000 getting somebody to do it right by you hiring them because they already know the strategy and then what they make from that should be more than what they you paid them and from there you can now invest more into them the 2500 whatever instead of you doing the course and learning it taking all your time you invested less they know what they're doing they did it well so you actually created income from it and that income pays for them to do even more of that and hire a second person to do even more of that following that strategy that works not good at, but, but enjoy. That's, it's a hobby. If you, if you enjoy it, but you're not good at it, have someone who's really good at it, do it. And maybe you can just look over their shoulder and say, Hey, good work. That looks really cool. That, you know, I used to do that. I really enjoyed it. Like some people want to play around with, uh, with Photoshop. Great. But don't do that for your business. Have somebody else do that. Do that with your family photos. Uh, good, but don't enjoy it. 
doesn't need to be done and you're good at it, but you don't enjoy it, guess what? Suck it up. You got to do it because fortunately you're good at it. That's something that just because you don't enjoy it, there's things in your business you're not going to enjoy you need to do. Once you make enough money, then you can hand that off to somebody. You're good at it, but you don't enjoy it. I get it. Move off to somebody else. The things you're good at and enjoy, that's your wheelhouse. But even let's see, there's like five things in there I identified. There's a couple of things like a uh, video director. There's a lot of great video directors out there, but putting everything together that we do and making sure everything is in unity with your message, your call to actions, your high ticket programs, your free offer, your funnel, um, your magazine, your uh, book, everything put together, that takes a mastermind. This is something I really enjoy and I'm really good at. That's why I've masterminded this and put the process together. Now, I haven't seen anybody take this twist on it, but this is really, if you're gonna take this to a business, what would that look like? Profitable and enjoyable. Profitable, but you don't really enjoy it. Not profitable, but enjoy, and not profitable and don't enjoy. So one of the things I would say is if it's not profitable, you need to ask yourself, do I really need to do this? Or did someone tell me I need to do this because they were selling your product? If you don't need to do it in your business and you don't enjoy it, just ask yourself, does this need to be done? If it does need to be done and it's not profitable, but it just needs to be done, then you may need to hire somebody for it. Where I would start is the things that are profitable, but you don't enjoy doing. Or the things that are profitable and you're not good at right? So your business is an, an, it's a entity that should be making money without you. You are self-employed until you have this thing working for itself and you go away on vacation, come back and you have project managers, you have directors, you have, you have people who are doing all your media and you come back and it's, it's where it was left at or it's growing on its own without you. Without your intervention, this is, this is something that every business owner should strive to because, yeah, it's not going to be 100% hands-off. It's not going to be one of these um, uh, income streams where you don't have to do anything passively, right? Profitable and enjoy, do that. Profitable but don't enjoy, you may need to do that. <laughs> not profitable but enjoy. You know, you can do that, but the th you really have to focus on this lower right hand. It doesn't need to be done. There's a lot of things we think we need to do, but we don't. It's just busy work and it's taking time away from the things that are profitable, we enjoy and we're good at. So what is it for you? I want you to get a piece of paper, put that, that cross, and then put this together and really determine what are the things, and you may have one, two, three, four things. I have five things in mind that I feel that I'm really good at. And at this stage in my business, that's my focus. All the other things are things that if I do it, I know I'm doing somebody else's job. So for you, there's gonna be things that you're doing. You know you're actually doing somebody else's job. They're better at you than that, than you are. Um, they're faster. They're more efficient and effective. They're up to date on what the market is, right? It's not you guessing or having to watch YouTube videos to figure things out. Hire somebody who knows what they're doing. Offload the time-wasting activities. Listen, if you want to go to that elite level, at some point you need to give up on the busy work. You need to stop being a student of everything and focus on being a student of your mastery going deeper in your one thing. Because when you're trying to be a jack of all trades, that's great if you're not a coach or a consultant where you're supposed to be the expert on one thing, but you're running a business like let's say plumbing or something where there's a lot of different things going on. You have a lot of people. You need to be the, the business owner of that. But I have in here, we help elite level coaches, consultants, and entrepreneurs expand their reach and elevate their online and offline presence with minimal time and effort on their part. So that minimal time and effort is where we're leveraging your time. So you're doing the things you're an expert at. You're not doing the the video editing you're not doing the podcast producing you're not writing articles for your magazine you're not writing your book matter of fact you spoke it and you did it in such a way working with us where we created a beautiful book that reads really what really well it's not just video one is chapter one video two is chapter two like i've seen in some some people do that believe it or not um but this elite level it's like oh that's not me is it Elite level is you choosing to go deeper in your craft. Elite is not like that you think you're better than everybody. Elite is a choice that you make to be the very best because you are focusing on your one thing. 
So as people in your industry are playing at a level six or seven, you're playing at a, a level 13 or 14. Why? Because just no one is going there. There's no one around you that is at your level. You keep on going deeper and deeper into your craft instead of going wider and wider. If you are looking to up-level all of your media to up-level your presence online and offline, so like our magazine and our book, they're both digital and they're print. So you can take those things and distribute them all over the place. If this is something you're looking to do, and we do this so it takes a day and a half of your time, we shoot anywhere from 50 to 70 videos. In that, we create your book, we create a magazine, we create all of your video marketing for an entire year. We create your podcast for an entire year. We create all of your memes, all of your social media posts, your reels and your stories for an entire year in a day and a half. We use multiple cinema cameras. We do B-roll. We have moving cameras. We do like a documentary of it. There's no one else out there that does what we do. And you want the best. You want to hire us. If that's you, schedule a call with me. Go to ascendmedia.com forward slash call. That's A-S-Y-N-D media.com forward slash call set up a call we'll talk uh, send media is authority syndication media we take your authority we help people understand the value that you bring in their lives we connect with them deeply and meaningfully and we do it consistently for you so they see the relevance in their life and the value that you bring to them we do it beautifully and this is legacy media that you're going to have out there forever Thanks so much for being on tonight. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye.